All right, so let's continue to build our arcade, right? So over here, what do we got? This is packed. Is it one? Of, let's take this in. We can't put this away. Let's move it then. What's this one called? Pack. Pack pals. Pack and pal. This one? Pack land? No, pack. I can't read it. It might be pack land. Yeah, pack land. See? Cool. Now over here we've got. I actually have no idea what that is. <laughs> super Pac-Man? No. We, super, we have Pac-Man, Super Pac-Man, pac and Pals, and Pac-Land. So then what's this one? Pac-Mania? It doesn't look like Pac-Mania. It's this one. Pac-Man Arrangement. Put three of those over there. See? And then we got two more. We need, we need space, though. So let's move this flag. This is the one we didn't play at, Battle Royale. So because we didn't play it yet... Oh, I do... Yeah, I don't have any more. See that? What we do have is... What is this one? Pac-Mania. Let's get rid of this box now. Put another Pac Mania down. So now what we need to do is we need to play the Battle Royale. And we have two more. Then see, now we have three of each cabinet. This is how arcades used to actually be laid out back in the day. They would have it so that if you wanted to play a game, if someone's on it, there's usually another one right next to it, right? Yeah, pretty cool. <clears throat> cool. All right. Let's now try the game I didn't play yet. Look how cool the arcade looks now when you walk around. Right? You got these little decorations. I'll put more in the corner later. But yeah, oh yeah, a little each cabinet. Look, and now the ghosts can go around and look at the games. This is the one we didn't play. It's called Pac Pac-Man Battle Royale. What in the heck is this? This is a real arcade game? Pac-Man Battle Royale. It looks, it looks like modern, doesn't it? Here we go. I have no idea how to play this. <laughs> Eat power pellets. <clears throat> Eat other Pac-Man. What? Pac-Man eating other Pac-Mans? Come on. Cannibalism. Bounced. I ate him. Wait for the next round. This is weird. <laughs> this is absolutely weird. It's a stalemate. He died? A ghost ate him. So not only do you have to avoid the other Pac-Man who gets a power pellet to eat you, but the ghosts come out, they can kill you too. 
Josh Pavelli says, this is the kind of game that's in Dave and Busters. Do they have them in Dave and Busters? I've never seen this one before. I can't turn right. Look, I'm trying. We both shook at the same time. Why? I got mine later. Ah, he had a ghost. So I think the little pellets don't do anything besides trigger the big pellets. Die. The ghost ate him. There you go. <laughs> See, I don't think this says online. No. Final round? Oh, shit. Five straight wins. Who's blown the whistle? You won the most rounds and ate one item. That's it. That's the whole game, huh? It's just supposed to be you against other Pac-Man players. It's an interesting premise, but man, it's a simple game, right? Like, there's not much to it. That's it? And it has credits produced by Namco Games. Wow. That's it? The whole game resets? The game resets. So wait, if there's nothing... Did I actually, like... <laughs> did I beat the whole game? I might have, right? I might have beaten the entire thing. Let's see. Yeah, look. Eat 50 dots, battle one time, eat 30, eat 40, eat 50. All oh, this is about what you eat. Yeah, look. Unless you're playing with other people, it's like impossible to do this. Yeah. Okay. And then I got the cabinet. Good, because I wanted some more to set up in the arcade. Ooh, I have a new flag. A, fl a ghost flag. Ooh, a new comics uh, wallpaper, too. Nice, because I want to put two more of those. Here and here. Achievement! Experienced gamer. Played all the 14 titles in the collection. Okay. So there you go. So you have three of every arcade machine. One, two, three, four, five. There's seven arcade games, and I guess seven console games. The console setup only needs one setup. I want to put uh, a ghost flag around somewhere. It's a new flag I just got. Let's see here. Pack me a flag. Here's the ghost flag. Can we put a plant or something in the corner? Oh, look at this. It's a colorful rocking horse. You put a rocking horse there for a kid to ride. <laughs> it's weird. A rocking horse in the middle of this place? You know what? Hold on. A rocking horse for a kid to ride has arrived. Probably gonna put quarters in that too, right? See now this now the design of the arcade makes sense because you got quarter machine over here if you want to play the gotcha game or if you want to ride the rocking horse, and you got another quarter machine over here for the games. 
Yeah, I like that. Cinnamon Tears in my cabinet. Arcade collection is better than the quarterings. What do you mean by that? Does the quartering have a collection of real arcade machines in his house or something? <laughs> There's something I can fit in the corner. Oh, yeah, this gold container. There you go. All right. <clears throat> All right, now. We got about half an hour left. What should I play? What game, what, out of all the games I played, what game would you guys like to see me take on? Right now, the one I would like to play the most is Pac Man 256. That's the freaking roguelike. But I'm curious which one you guys would like to see me play. Time Crisis Pac Man. What the hell? Pac Land? Pac Land is the platformer, right? Oh, pac is when I don't know how to do the jump. Oh, a couple of people are saying pac land. Pac-Man 250, a couple of people said 256. I like both. Like, we could do this again, but I don't know how to get past the jump. I just don't know how to get past this freaking jump, guys. Unless you guys have an explanation on how to get past it, I, I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do. All you can do is run and jump. That's it. I love that they're throwing their children at you. Like, what is wrong with you? You're trying to murder your kid in order to kill Pac-Man? Come on! Break time. I gotta figure out how to get past this jump. I don't know how to do it. Oh, I missed a cherry. How revealing that the ghosts are actually aliens! All along, they were not of this world. Unwelcomed freakish visitors. Oh, I missed the pellet. All right, next is coming up. I don't know what to do with it. I tried bouncing on the spring where it doesn't do anything. It's gonna be right after this mountain. I'm not gonna know what to do. Whoa. Whoa, that was close. Here it comes. I have no idea. being suggested to bounce on the board several times. You held the jump halfway through as if you glided for a nanosecond. There must be a button to glide. God damn this. I don't know how to play it. <clears throat> now look. I'm looking. Look. Nothing, nothing. I press up, I press down, I press left and right, up. I mash the button, I press up and jump, I press down, I do fireball motions in the air. Look, fireball motions. Nothing. 
Nothing does anything. I don't know. <sighs> Go to the manager and file a complaint. The manager of the arcade? File a complaint with the arcade that you bought a piece of shit rip-off game. And I'm gonna rip you off. <laughs> Steal all the money in your register. What? <laughs> it's pizza night. Free pizza night. I'm gonna eat the whole pizza myself. Screw everyone else. This is what you deserve for having this shitty game in your arcade. No, but for real, like... If I'm having this much problems trying to figure it out, can you imagine how people in the arcade were trying to figure this shit out? And they were paying money. It wasn't like me who was a part of the collection. They were actually... Ow. They are actually paying good money to play it. <clears throat> Ugh. Hello, casual. How are you? What the? It's not gonna help if I don't make it over there. I didn't even make it. Fan Donks is using a joystick for back. This game is so old. There was no joystick. In Pac Man Arcade, it was left and right buttons to move. It predated Super Mario Brothers. It was an experimental time frame. <clears throat> so I'm being told once you jump, you have to mash forward a ton in midair. If you mash forward a ton while you're in midair, you'll extend the length of your jump. If I make this jump, you guys better reward me. <laughs> I want a cookie or a delicious piece of pie or something if I make this jump. You hear me? I could be playing something different. I'm doing this for you. Again, eating their eating their children. Warm apple pie. Oh, apple pie is good. I haven't apple pie in a million years. So you know, some of the the actual fun and challenge of <clears throat> going to arcades back in the day is that once you knew enough of the games well enough, you could beat them. And so then the challenge would be, instead of just, oh, I just want to beat the one game, how many games that you know how to beat can you beat in one go, in one sitting in the arcade, and how long does it take? Because that's what it was. It wasn't just always about just winning, but then it was about how well can you win. Like, I remember I beat House of the Dead, this gun game, where you kill a bunch of zombies and monsters. But then it was about, well, how many times, how can I find all the secret rooms in the game? Can I beat it all on, on one quarter? And eventually, one time, I did beat the entire House of the Dead game on one quarter. That's the original. But that was kind of the fun and replayability of arcade. Because a lot of people would be like, I don't understand. The game is so short and simple. Why would you ever go back to the arcade? It's like, because it wasn't just about the initial experience. It's about incrementally getting better and better. And then actually going between games. Different styles of games. All right, right here we go. Oh my god, it worked! Holy shit, that was awesome! 
Thank you. Did it. He made it to a pile of flowers. Look at all these fairies. Wow. Now he's got to go back. Seriously? Wait a minute. What the? Oh, you climb up it. Did you see that? That was neat. Yeah, look. The game's changing dramatically now. Okay. Eat the ghost. I missed him completely. I made it back home. Trip two. Wait, what? What is that up there? Yeah, it's a new enemy. Look at that double decker bus. So the game's gonna get harder the further in you get, obviously. Do, 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 do. Okay. Experience dogs have powered up boots I can float. It doesn't work. I'm doing it. It's not doing anything. Look. Nope. There's no floating. Yes, I missed all the strawberries, but I made the jump. Wow, what a jump! Oh shit! No! I gotta go back and get a running start. Oh god! Oh! oh! Wow! What a jump! Woo! Oh no! Oh, that was close. Nice! Wow! Woo! That's crazy! Oh! Oh, shit. No. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, shit. You can't jump through these. Again, but now I gotta get back, which isn't gonna happen. <laughs> I think I'm on my last life, right? I'm pretty sure. Now I have the glide boots. Oh shit! The way it goes. 
That's the way the cookie crumbles, right? That's what they say. So, by the way, there really has been no tips in an hour. Wow. Well, that's what it is, I guess. I had fun today. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. So, what did I get? I got a couple of currency. Do we do any new challenges? Yes, get a score of 20,000, 30,000, clear four rounds, clear 10 rounds, clear 15 rounds. That's a lot of rounds. Nice. Clear 20 rounds. Ooh, look at this new fancy wallpaper. Outward, outward trip background music. Chic balloon gate, a different balloon gate, different colors. James says, imagine if, if bus drivers had one of the microphones they use on tour buses. Here we see Pac-Man running at us at maximum speed like a jackass. Hands outside the bus may be eaten. That's really disturbing. <laughs> okay. Uh, Roger says, I'm curious, back in the day that these arcade games have a way to stop people from playing K typing KKK in their rankings... Some did, some didn't. Some had absolutely, positively nothing to prevent bad language or bad references. Others did. So, you, like, for example, if you try to type in KKK, it would just say default. It would default to something else. So you can't type that. Um, and some didn't. Like, I saw, literally, I saw, like, F-U-C-K and stuff in the, in some of these games. And it was like, what the hell? They just allow it. So there you go. All right. We got time for just a little bit more. I think I want to check out... Pac-Man 256 in a little bit of time that we have left, because that's a pretty fun game. And every time you play Pac-Man 256, you unlock more. That's what I like about it. I wonder what year this one came out. It's definitely a modern game. Standing on what I needed. Yeah, the item. That sucks. Hey, hey, hey. Jingle bells. I swear I had a power pellet, but it didn't do anything. Oh, this sucks. I got trapped. I like this game. Because it's a roguelike. It really is. Every time you play, you earn more. See, I just unlocked the bomb. Touch a ghost to trigger an explosion. And then next, you'll get the giant Pac-Man. I really like this one. This is one of my favorite ones out of all of them. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. I wonder what happens when you eat all six cherries, right? I don't know what the coins really do, if anything. Seven ghost combo. Son of a bitch. Hello, Hunter Roo. How are you? What's going on? Okay. And every time you play, it's different. See? Everything's positioned differently. I kind of like that. Good. For, it's variety when you play it. Just like a roguelike, how everything's placed differently every time you play a roguelike. It is Batman roguelike. Pretty cool. Pretty enjoyable, honestly. Jingle bells. You can hear the jingle bells. You can hear the sleigh ride. 
King just tipped me again. Thank you, King, for the tip. That was a pretty good ghost eating combo now. My best score ever. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Thank you, King, for a dollar fifty tip. He says, let's hit some goals. I challenge one minute man to tip to a tip war. Uh, I'm pretty sure one minute man doesn't stick around the streams. I think he comes by like once or twice a day and probably watches and enjoys behind the scenes. But if you haven't noticed, one minute man has never been in the chat. So I don't think One Minute Man is around. I think maybe he comes by and he's like, oh, okay, I'm enjoying the stream. You know, he might be. I, I've always had theories. I actually think One Minute Man might be someone who watches uh, while he does other stuff. Like maybe, he's, you know, they're at work or something. And so they have me on in the background as they're working, right? And so, you know, oh, once a day I'll come and support. And then that's it. You know, then they just go back to listening again. I've, I've always, you know, again, I know nothing about the person. Uh, but that's always been kind of my my guess because I don't know the person. So, so I mean, fun that you challenged him to a tip war. I don't think he's going to have it. I'm pretty sure he's probably not here. <laughs> so I wouldn't feel bad if he doesn't accept your challenge. I'm pretty sure it uh, has nothing to do with him not supporting the streams or anything. It's just that uh, he's probably not here. Humma, 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 humma. You know, I really like the look of this game, too. Oh, I thought... I thought he was... Uh, whatever. I lost. I sucked. Emerald 7, who gifted 500 subs. That's right. Remember that? Emerald 7. Oh, really? Gavin says, Actually, that guy, Emerald 7, it was looked into. And people found there's actually a business nearby where I live called Emerald 7. They think that's where he got the name from. Oh. Again, someone else. I don't know who that was. That was many years ago on Twitch, by the way. Uh, many years ago. And by the way, the thing that was crazy about those gifted subs from Emerald 7, they were tier 3 subs. They weren't tier 1. They were the highest level. So think about giving 500 subs that you should like $25. That's pretty insane. Take that, you son of a bitch. Stalk me. I teach you to stalk. No one stalks me. I'm the Pac-Man. I'm the Pac-Man. Now I'm Big Pac-Man. Oh, yeah. I don't need... I don't need no power pellet. Oh, no. It ran out. Oh. Apparently, it says I've eaten six of six cherries. What does that mean? It said I ate six of six, but I don't know what that does. This game is fun because it's an ongoing experience. Every time you play it, something new has happened. Like, you unlocked a new power-up, you did this, you did that. I like that a lot. Take an existing idea that works alternate it in a way that makes it more modernized and that a modern audience would enjoy. That's exactly what this game is. Man, I would have loved to eat the conga line of ghosts, but that ain't gonna happen. Oh, uh, I'm completely screwed, huh? No, the orange guy moved. Cool. Here come the, the glitches. It seems like the power pellet when you eat it does not extend the length of eating the ghosts at all. You see that, right? What's the cherry bomb? We haven't gotten it yet. I don't know what this does. Cherry bomb? I have no idea what it does. Oh! It blows up a radius around Pac-Man. I see. 
Coming up, coming up, coming up. Go, 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 go. Yummy! A delicious combo. This is my highest score right now. Oh no! Oh! That was seriously close right there. That was it. What a save. My best score. Oh no! Whew, close. No. No! Oh, it blew up and killed them! Wow! That was amazing, dude. Slow the ghosts. Slow your ghost roll. Oh, I need a power up right now. Yes! This is a crazy good run. Couldn't get the pellet. No! That was such a good run. 5,822. More than double what I had previously done. That was incredibly good. Oh, man. So what does it say? It says eat six out of six cherries. And there's something there, but I don't know what that means. Can I click on that? Oh, what's this? Sixty-four credits. What do those credits do? It says in the upper left-hand or upper right-hand corner, I have two hundred fourteen. My camera's blocking it. Now it says sixty-four. I don't know what those do. What can I do with those credits? Here's your stats. I've eaten seventy-three ghosts. I don't know. I actually don't know what you do with those credits. It says I have two hundred and fourteen credits. Unless, wait a minute, are they saying those are coins I actually uh, uh, earned in the real game? The collection? Maybe that's what it means. Okay, we'll do it one more time. We got time for one more run. See how it goes. Ready? Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Doodle, doodle. Doodle, 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 do. Who likes to doodle, 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 do? I like to doodle, 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 do. My favorite thing to do. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the ghosts. I miss the strawberry, what a shame. Now I gotta run through this glitch. I missed it. It was a tornado, that's a new thing. And I missed it. Nice, that was a lot of ghosts I just ate. There's a glitchy ghost, you saw? A glitchy ghost. Laser. I love that you can kill him from so far with a laser. That's neat. Oh no, it ran out! That's no good. That's no good. I got something. I don't even know what it was. It made a noise, but I don't know what the hell it was. Oh, God. Oh, no. Uh, son of a bitch. This is next to Tornado, but there was a tornado on it. Like, it was on the map there, and I didn't get it. I missed it. All right, I got time for one more run. I actually really like this game. This game is very addictive. Very addictive and fun. I could probably just keep playing this forever. Jared Jackson, I don't know. Is it, is it an infinite map? It's a good question. I don't know. It's definitely a randomly generated map. But I don't know if you can you can eventually get all the power-ups and there's actually an ending. I don't know. <clears throat> Would I ever consider getting a sombrero for a new hat? I, I almost... I, I'm not hitting the goal anymore. You understand this, right? Like, for example, two years ago, the vest streak was invented. I was hitting the tips goal almost every stream. Actually, I was hitting it every stream for several months. And then after that, it was still consistent. So what did I do during that time frame? I added a whole bunch of vests for variety. So it's not always the same one because I was hitting it all the time, right? Then last year, 
We alternated the goal. We changed it up when I became a full-time YouTuber. And we made it so that there's a hat at $100 and a vest at $150 raised. So what did I do? I said, let's add some hats for variety. Okay? Now, if you haven't noticed, things have been really slowing down in regards to the tips goal. I haven't been hitting it re rarely at all do I even hit the $100 ever. Right? Why would I add more hats? You're at, add more options for something you're not even doing. No, if we were consistently hitting the hat goal every day, then I would add more hats. As of now, since we're not hitting it, no, I'm not adding any hats or anything. That would be pretty stupid. Okay. Hit the energy symbol in the menu to upgrade. Where's an energy symbol in the menu? All right, Ellipsian, you know, if you can explain that when I get over... No! The energy symbol in the menu? Where is there an energy symbol in the menu? Where do you see that? There's nothing here, right? Unless it's over here. This symbol. Okay. So I currently have 256 coins. Patman grows. Oh. Oh, cool. Make him grow. Oh, yes. Make Pac-Man grow. Yes. All right. What I should do is upgrade all these. See? Yes. Thank you for Ellipsy and thanks for telling me. Cool. How do I change the loadout, I wonder? So all these are available. Yes. Okay. These power-ups will drop in-game. How do I change my loadout? Select the power-up to add it to the loadout. Oh. I don't like the bomb. Here you go. We'll get rid of the bomb. I don't like the bomb. There we are. All right, cool. This is so cool. Like I said I'm playing. I'm, I'm earning upgrades. So I'm getting new abilities as I play. This is so sweet. This game is great. Why is the pink ghost so much faster than me? <laughs> All right. Last run, guys. Last run. Now, here's the deal. I really enjoyed doing this today, but if you guys didn't notice, some people complained. They wanted a different game, and of course, support was decent. We had a good amount of likes. We actually had a, a couple of memberships. We had a decent amount of Super Chats, and tips were okay, but could have definitely been better for a mainstream game. I would consider doing this again on a late stream, because I've never really got... I didn't go back to any of the games, right? I'm just, you know, I would consider going back on a late stream, but I wouldn't do a, another early stream of this again. I don't think so. Okay. Last run for the day. Here we go. Eat 10 of 10 fruits. Mission complete. Eat those ghosts. They are absolutely delicious. But they're not very nutritious. They're actually full of empty calories. It's a shame. Oh, it ran out. I wish you could still... Like, when I grab a power-up, when I'm using a power-up, it doesn't count. I wish it did. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no! The pig ones are so fast. Ah! I love this game. I want to keep playing it. Oh, look. Reward box. How many coins will I get for getting 10 fruit? 256 coins. That's tremendous. That's Is that the maximum? That might be the maximum you could get in one go. Nice. All right. 
Eat 40 ghosts is the next objective. All right, so. Oh, let me get a course. As you get, that's the thing about roguelikes. As you unlock more uh, abilities, as you unlock more stuff, it becomes harder. So, all right. Let's see what rewards I got, and then we'll adjourn for today. Wow, look. Tons of coins for my different scores. My highest score right now is 58.22. Get a score of 5,000. Wow, this game has a ridiculous amount of challenges. Eat 15 fruits. Defeat 30, uh, 50 ghosts. Get a 256 pat dot combo. Earn 50 coins. I'm one short. Okay. It's fun, though. I like this game. We're very close to hitting a few missions there. Oh, I got a butterfly palm pop. Very nice. All right, so guys, I really enjoyed playing Pac-Man Museum Plus with all of you today. It was a lot of fun. I like, look at this, how cool our arcade looks now. It looks like a real arcade, right? Um, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, if you would like <clears throat> to see me play this again as a late night chill stream in the rotation, please let me know. Best ways to do that would be tell me in my chat, or if you're watching this on demand on YouTube, you want to leave a comment. Uh, on the video and let me know I'd, or, or thumb it up that would help also if you're watching this on demand on youtube i had a good time but you know it certainly didn't get tons of support on the stream it would be great if you're enjoying it if you could support in your own way whether that be liking the video or uh you know maybe a super thanks or joining as a member a tip look at the description of the video for that i would appreciate that all right guys thank you i love this this was fun i actually i, I did something f refreshing to me because i don't really do stuff like this and I'm having a great time. So I hope that that conveyed through. And I hope that you guys will uh, let me know what you think. All right. Until until next time, which may or may not happen. But until next time, this is me signing off with Patman Museum Plus. This was a great session. Thanks, guys.